Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a bit of a look at Cinnamon 1.3. Now, this is kind of going to be a distro review and an app review rolled into the one thing because I have been wanting to look at Cinnamon for quite some time now. Cinnamon, if you're not familiar, is of course a desktop environment that has been uh, developed by primarily the Mint team, but it's got a lot of community support behind it as well. So it makes it a very interesting alternative and quite honestly, it's getting very polished very quickly. Uh, we did have the Cinnamon 1.2 release, which is when I started playing around with it, and now we are here at 1.3.1, and uh, it's just getting better and better. Now, not only is the desktop environment itself very reminiscent to the traditional Mint style that we are all used to, uh, it also gives the GNOME 2 users a place to go as far as uh, traditional usage with the panels and with adding applets and extensions and themes and all of that fun stuff. So basically, uh, first of all, we have the uh, the... GTK3 iteration of the Linux Mint menu, uh, which looks actually very familiar. You've got your favorite applications on the side here, and you've got your categorized uh, applications here based on just their filters. And then, of course, you can do searching as well. So email, you, so you can search for mail, you can search for uh, web, you can search for any number of uh, any number of options, and it will bring up the top results in a simple click of the enter key, and you are launching that application, which does make it very handy, and uh, it suits me just fine because I am a very keyboard-driven type user. So you can see here, I've got it set up traditionally like you would have the panel on the bottom, and then you've got a few quick links here to your web browsing terminal, file manager, and cinnamon settings, and then you've got the show desktop button as well. You've also got recent file, recent files and folders, and then you've got all of your notification apps apps, including GTK2 notifications such as Dropbox, and all of these have nice transitions between them, and uh, and if you're wondering the theme, I do have the Hollow theme installed, which is uh, pretty much an Android 4.0 type theme. Now that's the, that's the next thing I want to talk about. This desktop environment is very themable. There are a lot of themes available and applets and extensions that you can get just by going to their website. So you can see cinnamon.linuxmint.com. You can see here that they've got easy download links, they've got news, and they've got tons and tons of themes. And every day I come back here and I see more of these themes appearing. So you can see here we've got literally bucket loads of themes for however you like your computer to look. And it's great to see that the community is jumping on board this, uh, this new desktop environment. Uh, with such enthusiasm. So I'm using the hollow theme one which is right here and it, it, it does look quite nice in my opinion. The only thing that I would like to be able to see at least in the future is to be able to change these window manager borders. Now I'm sure there probably is a way of doing it but as yet I haven't found a very easy way of doing it. So if you know guys how to do this then let me know in the comments below because I would love to know. But apart from the window borders which are stock standard gnome shell looking, the rest of the desktop looks very nice indeed. As you can see, it does look slightly jarring having one theme for, for the menus here, but having a different theme for the window borders. So that's my only minor gripe here. But uh, the rest of it is very functional and very customizable. You've got a custom cinnamon settings panel here where you can adjust where you want to place the panel, whether you want it flipped at the top or classic having two panels, one at the top and one at the bottom. You can check for auto hide. You can customize text here to have no text at all. So you can see here the text disappears from the menu icon. And then, of course, you've got calendar customization as well. So you can change the date format, change the date format inside the date applet, show weeks in the dates calendar. Then also you've got your uh, workspaces overview. Now, this is quite a nice uh, innovation in that it does use the same GNOME shell uh, mutter, or actually it's been, it's actually been forked into muffin. Uh, so you've got cinnamon and muffin together, which does sound quite nice, but you have the hot corner still enabled here. So if you want to switch workspaces uh, or switch windows, rather, it is very, very easy. Simple hot corner, and you've got both any of your windows that you have displayed, you have access to, and you can simply close out of them. So it's a very much a simpler form of the GNOME shell uh, of the GNOME Shell Activities menu with a lot less clutter and it's much more Mac OS X Expo-like. Again, transitions are very smooth. I've got nothing to complain about in that regard. So it works quite well and I haven't noticed any stability issues either. So you can see themes here. I've got a few installed. I've just got the stock standard Cinnamon, Elementary OS and Hollow. Effects, you can go literally crazy here about how you want your windows to open, close and minimize and unmaximize and all of that fun stuff. It is very, very customizable and you can see here we've got scale and then all the different types of scaling you could possibly want. I'm not going to spend too much time here because honestly, this all boils down to how you want your desktop to look. 
Under applets, we do have just a few apl applets here, but like I said on their website, they do have a lot of nice extensions and applets that you can install there, and it's much like GNOME 2 in its functionality. As you can see here, we've got places, hardware monitors, force quit, you name it. A lot of the, a lot of the traditional GNOME 2 applets that people did really miss having on their panel are here now that you can use. By default, you do get the stock standard alt tab switcher, but having said that, you also do have a extension that is available that gives you the cover flow, uh, that gives you the cover flow effect between switching windows. So that's quite nice. Now you can see here, I've also got two workspaces enabled here, one next to the other, and you can customize how many workspaces you want as well. So it is moving along at a rapid pace, and uh, and I won't be surprised at all to see this in the next Linux Mint release. So definitely I'm gonna be looking out for this in Linux Mint 13, but the good news is that you don't actually need Linux Mint or Ubuntu or any of those specific distributions to run this desktop environment. Because it is open source and these guys are doing it the right way, you can get it on literally any distribution distribution of your choice. Of course, it is available by default in Linux Mint 12 in the base repos. It's a simple install uh, of the package Cinnamon. Uh, with Ubuntu 11.10, it's simply you add the following PPA, they're either the Linux Mint repositories or the Cinnamon repository, uh, and you've got access to it as well. Fedora has its own instructions for those who use Fedora. Of course, OpenSUSE has its own, Arch Linux always has it, Gentoo always has it, and you can, of course, get the source code as well. So really, Cinnamon is uh, is becoming a very widespread phenomenon across uh, across the Linux Mint community and beyond, I believe. And I've uh, noticed it popping up a lot in people's conversation and in people's videos. So I thought it was definitely worth a look. And to be quite honest, I'd be happy living here. Uh, it's a much more traditional user interface than all of the GNOME Shell and Unity uh, changes that have been plaguing the Linux desktop over the last year or so. This is definitely a worthwhile alternative to the Linux Mint 12, the Mint GNOME Shell extensions that they have right now, and I wouldn't be surprised if in the next release they're going to knock back the Mint GNOME Shell extensions altogether. This is very functional, maybe not quite as customizable as GNOME 2, but it's getting very close. So definitely go and check it out. I shall throw links in the show notes below, as well as a link to the wallpaper and the theme if you are interested. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter at Ingalacting or look me up on Google+. I'll put a link in the show notes below. Thank you all for your support and stay tuned to both Linux Batteries channel and TotalOS today as we will be having a group discussion very soon with, uh, with pretty much all of the Linux YouTubers in the one room. So I'm sure that'll be exciting for all of us. In the meantime, stay cool, everybody, and I shall catch you in the very near future. Peace out, everybody.